What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over the 10-man practice squad for the New York Giants 2017 through 2018 season. So we are just getting the 10-man practice squad today. We didn't get them yesterday. We got eight guys that were confirmed signed for the practice squad, but not all 10. That's why I'm making this video now. Uh, I wanted to wait till you know we had all the guys and make a video on it. So this is the 10 confirmed signings for the practice squad we got number one Travis Rudolph you know he was gonna make the practice squad at least I really want him to make the roster but I guess he didn't do enough for how whatever reason he should have made this team but anyway I, I think we might see him early on in the season because remember Dwayne Harris and Tavares King are hurt so he may sneak onto this roster early in the season and maybe we get to see some Travis Rudolph early on in the season so Moving on, we got somebody from the Arizona the Arizona Ra Waivers, Norley Cappy, linebacker. They call him Cap. He's 6'3", 247, had one and a half sacks, and I believe 11 tackles in the preseason. So, don't know too much about him, but um, he is a giant now. Then we got Adam Bisnawadi, our sixth round draft pick. He did not make the team because he did not play very well in the preseason whatsoever. He was asked to play right tackle, not even left tackle. He was asked to play right tackle and uh, against second and third string defenses, and he could not hold up. So, unfortunately, he did not make a team. But Chad Wheeler, who was playing left tackle for the backups, actually played pretty well, and he made the team. So, uh, that tells you something about Adam Biznawadi. He may not be you know, that offensive lineman we were uh, hoping to get late in the draft. So then we move on to Jordan Williams at defensive end. For some pressure, I like what I saw from Jordan Williams. Uh, I think he got like one sack so far in the in the preseason. Yeah, I think he got one sack only. Um, and I saw him make some good run stuff. So that's something I like too. Uh, a defensive end that could both pass rush and stop the run. Um, you're really not finding those kind of guys anymore, especially you know undrafted rookies. So next we're moving on to Marquise Bundy. In the short time he was with the Giants. He actually played pretty well, caught all his targets, I believe, and actually made some impressive catches, tight catching traffic passes. So um, I think all of that happened during New England, the New England game, and I liked what I saw from Marquise Bundy. Um, so moving on to John Jalapio, he was playing guard for us. I guess he played pretty well. I wasn't paying attention to him that much, so I, I didn't really notice him on the field, So, but I guess the Giants saw something in him. So. He is now a giant on the practice squad. Moving on to Curtis Grant, had a similar preseason to Calvin Munson, but they, I guess they like Calvin Munson a little better. Cal, um, Curtis Grant made secure tackles. He made sure the ball carrier didn't escape his tackles. I like his pursuit, and um, I'm happy that we got him on the practice squad. He's a pretty decent linebacker for some depth, because we got you guys know our linebacking core has some weak talent on there, so any guys that we can bring in, and you know get some competition in is always a good thing moving on to Dante Dion one of my favorite guys in the preseason played a pretty well preseason but not good enough he did struggle with man coverage he did fall down when the ball was in the air quite a lot so and had two interceptions though almost had three if he kept his feet in balance for that third one uh, he would have had three interceptions and that third one was looking pretty good so, um, but Dante Dion couldn't make it on. Hopefully he finds a way to make it onto the active roster. Hopefully he impresses on the practice squad and cleans up some things and uh, doesn't let his height get, it, get in the way of, uh, you know, being great. So moving on to Tim Scott, he just got on the Giants. Uh, apparently the Giants like him, so they run him on the practice squad. I didn't see too much on Tim Scott, but um, you know, hopefully he's good. Moving on to Ryan Murphy, safety. He had pretty decent plays. One that I remember the most was when he laid that boom on Bryce Petty in that play that didn't count. I mean, Ryan Murphy completely leveled Bryce Petty. Bryce Petty had struggled to get up, and uh, that was a good safety blitz by Ryan Murphy. You know, so that we got some good depth at safety because we only kept, uh, I believe, four safeties on the roster. Nat Burhe made the roster. I don't know how, but um, he did. I went over that already in my roster cuts video. If you haven't checked that out, check that out. Uh, it's the video I did right before this one. So 
Uh, yeah, that is the 10-man practice squad for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Who do you think should have made the roster, uh, made the practice squad roster, and who do you think should not be on the practice squad uh, squad roster? as a tongue twister. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.